What is going on everyone, viewers? Um, I'm gonna be working on this. Uh, I'm gonna continue with this Mercedes-Benz CLA. Um, the tires have been balding inside and we checked with um, alignment centers and they said that they do not align this car for camber. Uh, this particular model does not have a camber alignment, only toe in and toe out. So I guess just the toe. So what I'm gonna do is I have ordered a camber kit uh, for this car and um, we are going to positive camber it for now and then I'm gonna get it aligned with the correct uh, camber. The tires have been wearing out on the inside uh, within how many thousands of miles so we're gonna correct that today by putting a camber kit and I will show you the camber kit that I got for this particular model for the Mercedes-Benz CLA uh, this is the first generation this is the AMG uh, package okay so let's go ahead and look at the uh, here is the part um, 5.81260 K made in China but uh, manufactured by iBox Springs or iBox company. So hopefully the quality is going to be the same. So it came with just two because all you need for camber is one on each side. We're only going to do the front. That way we can get a, uh, the back is okay so we can get a better camber on the front because it wears out terribly inside of the tire. And uh, this saves you money from, or keeping you from buying new tires constantly and there is the proper torque on it 97 foot pound or 132 newton meter there we go let's put it on let's get the car in a jack stand mode all right let's remove the 17 millimeter nut oh you know what i should remove the wheel lock first never ever tighten your wheel lock everyone As you can see everyone, um, this tire is fairly new. It's already kissing the corner right here. I don't know if you guys can see that on the dark uh, the dark spot right over here on the corner. So this tire probably has less than 100 miles on them. And as you can see already, that's why you need that camber kit on your CLA. And um, put it back. See, it even has the, the brand new, uh, what do you call that? Feather right here. All right, this bolt right here, it comes with a glue or some kind of a protective uh, film on it, um, as you can see. So this is a 22 millimeter. Go ahead and remove it. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. You only need to loosen the bottom. Do not remove the bottom. Loosen it up, that way you can adjust the camber. And then uh, right here is the, um, the bolt that we're after. It's a 22 millimeter. So I went ahead and um, scraped off the what do you call that? The, the, the protective uh, film. It's like um, some kind of a silicone or rubber. That way it doesn't rust the bolt on it. Could be. Or it doesn't back out one day. So let's go ahead and remove it. 22 mil. There it is. So both are off. I just need to remove this permanently. And then we'll replace it with the other one. Just grab one of the flathead or any kind of a knife to old knife to remove this glue right over here. That's about it. This is the patent number. So this is the part that we're gonna be putting in. All right, so for this, it's 97 foot pound of torque. I think I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom. 
and then we're gonna go get it aligned. So we'll do a 97 foot pound of torque. That's it. And I will show you, I'm gonna get it aligned as well. But for now, I put to the positive camber, as you can see right here. And then the marking on the back, it pushes out this, the net. You see how? The net right over there. The marking is pushed out more to the side. So that means our tire is gonna be corrected. But anyway, we're gonna get it um, camber no matter what, or get it alignment. So let's put back the tire and uh, we're gonna torque this to 97 foot pound as well. So we're gonna do the left side, the, the passenger side, I should say, right side. We're gonna go ahead and uh, just kind of, you know, remove this um, protective film over here for the net. I don't know if this is for rust protection for the suspension or it's just for the, the, the nut not to back up. Either or, it's, 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 it's kind of soft. See? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the other one. And um, make sure you kinda wanna remove the glue. And this, this, um, what do you call this? This little notch over here. When you find the right spot, make sure that notch is on the correct um, side. Okay. Once you adjust it, so right now I'm gonna need my two hands. So let's adjust the camber. All right, so we, I'm done on this side. I'm gonna, I actually positive camber it. As you can see, it's out a little bit more than normal. So I'm gonna leave it as is until we get a new alignment. I'm not an alignment expert, so we gotta give it to the, the alignment uh, professionals. Um, actually, it is correct. Look at this, this bolt right over here, it even has a cover. So I'm assuming it's for rust protection. So, well, it's in California, so it doesn't rust much over here. So anyway, guys, it's done. Let's put everything back on. And I highly, highly suggest uh, put a camber kit on your CLA due to high uh, tire thread wear. If you want to spend money, go for it. I know it'll ride better on cornering, but we are looking for longevity of the tires. So anyway, guys, I'm going to put the tire back and um, call it a day. I'm going to actually torque this, this one also. So let's go ahead and torque it. 97 foot pound. Do the bottom one too. All right, so I'm done on this side. I'm using simple tool, just a regular jack stand, another jack inside. But anyway, guys, uh, you can do this on your own. Um, make sure that um, they both have the same, almost identical um, mark as far as putting the bolt. That way, when you go to the alignment shop, you know, or when you drive the car around, it's not off that much. Does that make sense? But anyway, we'll go ahead and torque the, the tire and call it a day. All right, everyone, as you can see, the tire is a little bit uh, straight. It's actually really straight now, as you can see. Um, it's actually out more. Um, we're gonna get it aligned. Thanks for hanging out with me today. As always, more projects to come on this car. I will catch you in the next video. Please subscribe. Don't forget to uh, give me some likes and thumbs up, comment. I will catch you in the next one. Um, Camber kit for Mercedes-Benz CLA. Um, I think all the first generation are the same. Take care everyone, God bless.